All right, it's about 19 minutes or so until 7 o'clock. Bud Light sales are still suffering one year after its controversy. And 54% of young Americans say food costs are the biggest strain on their finances because, of course, coming out of college, they're paying for bills, and one of the biggest bills happens to be the money that is coming out of their pocket to get the food in the refrigerator. Of course, we've got more on this in our business report from the NASDAQ in New York. So let's go ahead and talk about that. Joya Doss is standing by now live in for Jane King with that and more. Good morning, Joya. Good to see you. Good morning to you. It's always good to see you as well. As you said, younger Americans are feeling the pinch from inflation with 54% saying that rising food costs have hit them the hardest. The findings are part of a recent CNBC Generation Lab survey. Now, when asked where in their budget inflation affected them the most, respondents chose food by a pretty significant margin, with rent being the second. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light brand has still not recovered in the United States more than a year since the beverage giant's controversial partnership with transgender influencer D Dylan Mulvaney sparked a boycott of the beer. AB reported a 2.6% increase in revenue globally, but a 9% decrease in the United States. Sales to retailers in the U.S. were down 13%, primarily driven by a drop in the volume of Bud Light. Let's talk about AstraZeneca. The company's going to withdraw its COVID-19 vaccine globally as demand has dipped. Vaxzevria was one, a, one of a number of shots that was released onto the market by pharma companies aimed at preventing people from catching COVID-19. The vaccine was actually never approved in the U.S. by the FDA, Sharon. Well, Joya, thank you so much for keeping us posted on all of this and bringing it to us. It's great to see you, as I mentioned before. Have a great day, and we'll see you again soon.